guys. I just want to give you a quick update before I get into the e-bikes. We have had a 1994 Seabreeze made by National RV, a 30-foot Class A. Well, we decided it's too big and too old. You know, it was starting to need a lot of repairs. So we decided to get a newer one and go smaller. So we traded it in for a 2015 Winnebago Itasca Rayo 25P is the model number. And we really enjoy it. It's diesel Mercedes engine. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier to drive. You can get to a lot more places. So uh, yeah, just wanted to give you a quick update on that. Now, as far as the bikes, there's a lot of people like us who already had bicycles that we really liked, especially my wife, Tammy. She has a bicycle. When you see it, you'll know it's a unique bike. She didn't want any other bicycle. She only wants that bike. And she said, if you can make that bike electric, then fine. Well, I was able to do that. And I'll explain that to you right now. So this is my bike. It's a Raleigh Hybrid. And I think it's three speed, something like that. So I've had this bike for a few years. And I really enjoy it. So I just wanted to make this an electric bike. So I found a company. They're a European company called Switch. S-W-Y-T-C-H bikes.com. Switchbikes.com. So what you do is you order the kit online. You send them the size of your front wheel because it's a front wheel motor. They send you a new wheel with the motor built in. And this is the motor right here in the center. So all you do is take off your tire and tube, put it on the new wheel, put that on your bike. Then all you need to do is attach the battery connector, which goes in the center of your handlebars here. And your battery just slides in to the terminals here. So this is the battery. Small little battery. It has the controls on top. You slide it in the holder here and it just slides down and clicks in place and this is the release button for it right here to take it out now these are the controls so the way these work is this is the power button in the center this is the button up to increase the power and the bottom down to decrease the power press and hold the button the lights come on and you can see it's a full charge because this is the battery meter so it's a full charge and I have it on the highest power and like I said you can adjust it to a lower power if you want it goes about 15 miles an hour and it'll take you about 40 to 60 miles depending on how much you use either the pedal assist or the um, motor itself so generally when you're pedaling it does a pedal assist and this is the pedal assist sensor right here that you attach onto your wheel so this little round disc here has magnets in it and as you're pedaling this sensor which is just behind that little wheel detects that you're pedaling and the motor kicks in to give you assistance as you're pedaling so the more it detects resistance as you're going up a hill, the more powerful the motor gets. Also, there's an optional throttle. This is the throttle here. I gotta turn off the battery though before <laughs> showing you the throttle. So if you wanna use just the motor only, then this is the throttle. The more you move it back, the faster it goes. And again, it only goes about 15 miles an hour. It's a 250 watt motor, which is fine. At the time I ordered the motors, I got them both at the same time, and they had a special. You buy one, second one's half price. So that's what I did for Tammy's bike. Now, let me show you Tammy's bike. So this is Tammy's bike. As you can see, it's an adorable little bike. She loves it. We found it at Walmart. It's a Margaritaville bike. It says Margaritaville on the side here. Inside it says Island Life. 
It also has a bottle holder and a bottle opener <laughs> to open up a bottle. How cool is that? Here it says it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> and of course, one of the best features of this bike is the little parrot that came with it. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Then in a bike shop we found a hamburger bell. Every Margaritaville bike has to have a hamburger bell. <laughs> and it's the same thing with her bike. The holder for the battery that connects here, the motor in the center of the wheel, and the pedal assist connection here. And like I said, it connects to any bicycle. So any bike can be any bike. So that's what we did and we're very happy with them.